everybody. Today, uh, how oh, I'm back. I'm doing a mod showcase of the Trade It's Take mod today. It's gonna be a great video today. And yes, the Twilight Forest, Twilight Four, the Twilight Adventure Three is coming out soon. I just want to make another video. Video in the meantime. Also, this mod is in the series too, but you'll be maybe be coming out in the next video about the Twilight Adventure. Anyways, let's get started on this. All right. So the Trajan Take mod adds a bunch of tot uh tags. We got the KV2. We got the Archer. The cruiser, the tiger, the I forgot this one, the, the Jagger Panther, the Abrams, the Sherman, I mean, the T34, and the Panzer. T Panzer. It, but it also adds, it also adds these these artillery things I use for destroying tanks slash things like we got the Pack 40 and the QF6. All right. Over here, this is these are basically the things you need to make tanks. Like this is where you put everything together. These are the how you make shells, the steel, the engines, the turrets, the uh, cleaning press, and then these are blueprints. Like to make the cruiser, you need this blueprint, or make the Sherman, you or to make the T thirty four. This is uh the coal right here. This is how you power your tanks, or you could just use normal coal or lava, I think. So like just coal. And that these are all the tank parts already put together, like, uh, like a light turret tank or a medium or a heavy one. Now these are all the shells. If you are looking, these tanks have different these different shells. Like this one needs eight uh, standard shells, AP shells, heat shells, and high explosive shells. So I say we test some of these out here today. So let's get some standard, some APs, uh, heat shells, and high explosive shells. Okay, so we have all of our shells. This is just one of the tanks, by the way. Then we have to get our fuel, right? Okay. And then we, you, you right click on it until you can't. Okay, boom. Until you, uh, you hop in. So here we go. I'm in my tank. And then, and then you click G to shoot. I don't have any ammo. Well, what shell do you want to use? You put it in your. So say I want to use high explosive shell. You put it in your offhand. And then you move around using WASD. Forward is the fastest, but you can go left and right. And backwards. So, and then press G to fire. Boom. And over there. And then look at the damage up there. I'm gonna try the heat shells now. Oh, those are like, uh, like, uh, I forgot the name, but they're like fire shells. Like, they call them fire. Um, then I'm gonna try these AP shells. I think, okay, for the AP shells, they work good against other tanks. So I'm gonna have another. Okay. I have two shots in. And then this is the standard shells. The standard shells are the worst shells. But they do they get the job done, you know? They get the job done. So yeah. This is uh but this is a particular weak tape. Not particularly, but it's you know, pretty bad. But oh but this is the uh this tiger. Tiger's actually the strongest tank. It has uh, the most health. Or much health. I think it's pretty sure it's a thousand. And it uses basically all the shells we already have. So let's try this one out. First, I'm going to tr try out these APs on my old tank. Destroyed. Let's get my high explosive shells. Let's see. I'm going to fire all. There's a, they actually have an iron golem over there. There's also, uh, there's an arc on these shells. If you haven't noticed that, you have to say if I want to hit that house, I don't want to just aim at it. If I want to really hit it, I have to aim upwards like that. 
Okay. But I think that's enough about takes. I think the takes are pretty cool, but I don't really want to go through all of them. So I say we go through these, the takes, the artillery. So this guy right here, he can only shoot armor piercing and AC pure. Okay, so I have armor piercing piercing. APCR. These are just, these are just tank killers. AP, AP shells. Oh, gosh. Uh, the AP shells are really good on my Not a lot of damage. But I, I'm not too sure about the APCR shells, though. So. Oh, yeah, they, they don't really do anything by themselves. And I'm pretty sure it's just the same for the I do. Yep. They, they also use AP shells. Look at that. Ooh. That's amazing, honestly. So yeah, those are. That's basically a rundown of the mod. This is a pretty short video, but so I'm gonna show off one more thing. So I say we show off the Jagged Plate Panther. Uh, not only APCR shells. Okay, I'm gonna do the Sherman. Okay, basically everything we already have. So let's try it out. I guess some other tanks. Like, oh shoot, I don't have fuel. Let me just fuel it up real quick. Let's just fuel it up and then boom. And boom. Boom. Uh, explosive shells in here. I'm gonna try to fire on that nearby village. I say that's a hit. Okay, I need a boom. Boom. It just destroys everything. I'm gonna try some more heat shells because I like them. I like the fire aspect of it. Look at all that fire. It's, oh yeah, they're incinerary. They're incinerary. I was looking for that word for so long. So yeah, that's basically it for this mod. If you want to download it, I'll probably have a link this I did not forget. Uh, this is a very good mod, and I totally recommend it. A lot of people have made videos on this, but I really recommend this mod. It's, it's, that, that's really why I use it in my, uh, in my, uh, in the Twilight Adventure. Uh, episode 3 should be coming out. We're gonna try to mellow it down after episode 3, because if I'm being honest, right now, episode 3 is... is Episode 3 is already very high, like, we already defeated 3 bosses. So, like, try to calm it down. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching this video, and I'll see you next time. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and all the beautiful good stuff, and see you guys. Hold up. See you guys next time. Goodbye.